The study of waves and wave motion is a very important topic in physics because it helps us explain many important phenomena that take place in our world. Now, waves can be broken down into different categories. For example, we have electromagnetic waves and we also have mechanical waves. Now, in this lecture, we're going to give a brief introduction into mechanical waves. Now, what exactly is a mechanical wave? A mechanical wave is a wave that requires matter. It requires a certain medium to propagate in a certain direction from some point one to some point two. Now, let's examine two very common examples of a mechanical wave. So we have example A and example B. In example A, let's suppose that we have a certain rock and we hold a rock above the surface of water. If we let go of that rock, that rock will eventually hit the surface of the water. And when that rock impacts the water, it will create mechanical waves that will propagate outward in all possible direction and in this case the matter the medium in which our mechanical wave travels is the water so the water molecules allow the propagation of our wave now let's look at example number two in diagram B we're looking at the top to bottom view of the following tabletop so let's suppose we place a cord or a rope on top of our table and we take the cord at one end and we oscillate it in the following manner. So that will create the movement of our hand will create the following oscillation which will create a mechanical wave that will propagate in the following rope. So the medium in, in example B is our rope. So we have the top to bottom view of our circular waves that are created by the impact between the rock and the water. And in part B, what creates the mechanical wave is the motion of our hand that forces the rope to propagate in the following manner. Now, let's suppose that we want to examine the side view of example A. So this was the top to bottom view. Now let's examine the side view. So let's suppose right before we let go our, of our object, the surface of the water is still. And on the surface of the water, we have a certain floating object. So let's suppose that floating object is a leaf uh, floating on top of our leaf. Liquid. Now, what happens when the object actually hits the surface of the water? Well, when the object hits the surface of the water, the water begins to propagate in the following direction. Now, I want to ask the following question. Does this object floating on the top of the water move along the following axis or does it remain in the following position? Now, the answer is very important because it gives us an important property of waves. So when we're talking about mechanical waves, mechanical waves themselves can move over great distances, but the actual medium oscillates in simple harmonic motion about an equilibrium point. In other words, the individual molecules of the water oscillate back and forth about a vertical axis. Those molecules don't actually move along the following axis along the horizontal axis and that's exactly why when I throw the rock and the water begins to oscillate this leaf will remain in the following position so it will oscillate back and forth about an equilibrium position but the leaf will not move along either direction along our x axis so once again, the mechanical waves themselves propagate outward 
For example, in this case, in the positive direction along the x-axis, but the individual matter molecules, the individual molecules composing our medium don't actually move in the same direction that the wave moves. They oscillate about a vertical axis, about some equilibrium position. So, once again, if we look at example B, when we force our rope to propagate in the following direction, the actual velocity of the wave points in this direction, but the individual velocities of our individual particles composing our matter move up and down. So their velocity points either up or down. The velocity of the individual particles don't actually point in the same direction as the velocity of the wave itself. Now, what exactly is a wave? Well, a wave is essentially one way that energy can be carried from one position to another position. So waves carry energy. So what happens when I take my rock, I let go of my rock a certain distance h from the surface of the water? Well, the rock initially has gravitational potential energy. And as it travels downward, it gains kinetic energy. And right before it impacts the surface of the water, all that gravitational potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy. And when the object makes impact, when the object hits the surface of the water, that energy is transferred to the molecules of the water. And those molecules begin vibrating, they begin oscillating back and forth in simple harmonic motion. And so what the waves do is they essentially carry that energy, waves transport energy over great distances. So gravitational potential energy is completely transformed into kinetic energy right before impact. During impact, the energy is carried by propagating mechanical waves. Now all types of traveling waves transport energy. So if we look at example two, where does our energy come from? So the energy comes from our hand. That forces that wave to propagate in the following direction. So when we force our rope to propagate, what we're doing is we're transforming energy and that energy is carried, is transported via the mechanical wave. And so if someone else is holding this end of the rope, they will feel that energy when this wave reaches that other end.